What's up, Nail Geeks? I am kicking off more fall and Halloween releases for you guys. I've got some good polishes to show you guys, and I'm gonna kick it off with Polishes Halloween Collection for 2020. Each year, Polish comes out with these amazing Halloween sets. Um, I have collected quite a few over the years myself, and I was really looking forward to uh, what she's got for us this year, and um, I think, I dare say, this is one of my favorite sets that she's done. It is so stinking pretty. It's um, a definitely against the grain for fall colors, but um, I'm here for it and it's so, so pretty. So let's dive right into what she's got. First up is Ghost House. This is a prismatic silver scattered holographic. One of my favorite types of finishes. Um, lots and lots of rainbows with this, especially in the sunlight. Um, really lovely and it's one of my um, favorite little camera nerd type of things that um, holographic polishes like this are just eye candy for your camera lens. I mean, it just focuses in so well, especially for macro shots and stuff, um, which of course I'll show at the recap of the video. Now this has a very uh, smooth type of formula to it. It's very easy to build up to opacity and it plumps out very easily on your nails. So I think for the most part, two coats and everyone's gonna be just fine with it. Um, I really can't see needing a third coat with it. As you can see here on that second coat, um, it just built up crazy fast. Now this does dry down on the flat and slightly thirsty side, so I'm gonna suggest a very good glossy top coat with a thicker consistency just to get everything smoothed out. And Bone Appetit is a toasty peach cream with hollow flakes and red to copper to green micro flakes and shimmer. So this is a uh, very flattering type of shade. I want to classify this one as being a neutral, at least against myself. So if you have medium to deep skin tones, I think it might take on that appearance. It's definitely gonna play against um, your personal tone. Now this is another super smooth formula. Again, I think two coats is gonna be just fine for most. It builds up very easily. And this also dries down on the flat side. So once again, I'm gonna recommend a good glossy top coat just to really maximize that little um, shimmer-like effect from those flakes and all the sparkly goodness here from the holographic flakes. And you can see here on the full hand shot, there's this gorgeous glowy-like appearance. Those uh, color shifting flakes definitely take on a bit of a back seat in person, but you can see them given this little um, iridescent twinkle underneath that base color. And next we have Resting Witch Face. This is a soft gunmetal with holographic flakes and bright green to silver to pink micro flakes and shimmer. So I want to classify this one as um, a multi-chrome or rather a duochrome in that in person you'll definitely see that it's this lovely type of um, greenish sort of shade but there's an easy purple shift at angles definitely is going to uh, do that color roll in shaded lighting I feel like I didn't really do that one justice a whole lot in terms of showing you guys that purple effect I'll definitely have my macro shots at the end of the video but please note in person you can definitely see that there is a green to purple shift um, again especially in shaded lighting now we also have um, and in lieu of repeating myself, a wonderful formula. It builds up very quickly to opacity. I think most are gonna be fine between two and three coats for this one. And again, I'd suggest a good glossy top coat. And next we have Booberry Pie. This is a sky blue cream with blue to purple to pink micro flakes and shimmer. Uh, no surprise here, this is my top pick of the set. And I don't just mean that as a blue biased person. Um, it is just so luminous and so glowy and just a beautiful blue shade um, and of course that adorable name kind of goes along uh, with my love for it this is really lovely so in person um, this does appear just the slightest bit darker than what you're seeing on the video however it's still very vibrant and those micro flakes give this strong luminescent type of blue appearance um, and there's a ton of them in here so it really really takes over um, the entire look and kind of really mixes in with that base color. So very, very nice there. And of course, we've also got shimmer happening in this one too. So really luminous and just overall a very flattering shade. Again, I'm gonna suggest a good glossy top coat for it. And next we have Squad Ghouls. This is a pale aqua with hollow flakes and orange to pink to green micro flakes and shimmer. So another very luminous shade, um, a really gorgeous type of color. This is very much one of my top uh, Halloween sets that I've seen from her over the years. Very nice. So again, we have a Crelly-like formula to it. It plumps out very nicely. It's got 
just the slightest bit of squish to it, but um, just really smooth on those brush strokes. Again, very easy to build up to opacity. And the shimmer in this one takes on this nice orangey, almost pinkish type of appearance. Um, very, very nice. And it gives that nice glowy effect that matches up with those um, little micro flakes in here too. You can kind of see it on my full hand shot where they're shifting between oranges and greens. And finally, we have Little Boo Peep. This is a soft orchid pink with hollow flakes and pink to orange to green micro flakes and shimmer. Um, another one of my favorites. Uh, this, I'm just going to keep repeating myself as I love these so much. So again, very similar formula to the others. Easy to build up. Just that slightest bit of a squish factor um, for this true curly like feel when you're applying. And again, for opacity two to three coats is going to be just fine with it um, this is a uh, warmer type of orchid pink in my opinion however it really complemented uh, my skin tone so i think this is one of those types of orchids that is um, pretty universally flattering in my opinion and um, i just really enjoy it orchid pinks are one of my favorites i think they're so um, sink and flattering they're just so nice and this one with the shimmer and the flakes um, overall, it just makes for a gorgeous finish. Again, I'm going to suggest a good glossy top coat and you'll be good to go. Now, the Halloween 2020 collection releases on pre-order October 11th at a 7 p.m. Central Time through October 12th at 11.59 p.m. Central Time. Um, this pre-order will be a limited stock pre-order and those will begin shipping on October 14th. They will be restocked on the Sundays for October. However, these are limited edition and they will be gone after October. And um, also for her Black Friday sale uh, next month, um, these will not be restocked for that. So if you wanna grab these, you'll definitely have to get it during October. Now each of the polishes are 13 each and um, I will link you guys below to that. She should have previews up for these um, if you are wanting to grab them, which uh, again, the pre-order starts this Sunday. Um, and I'll also link you guys below to Polish's Facebook fan group if you wanna see additional swatches and all that good stuff. As always, if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.